Hello, I'm Timian, and in this episode of How To, we're going to talk about how to grow food in Planet Crafter. So, in the beginning of the game, you are very limited in your food. Uh, when we looking for food, we go right here, and all you can find is space food. Uh, when you start, you're given a couple of these packets. They only give you 40 health, and then your but your health bar is 100. But you get a few. But you can then go around collecting um, food and all the wrecks that we go through that are found throughout all the world. And ooh, we have a special event happening here. So then, what we have then after a certain point, we can then obtain the ability to make food growers food growers and we have the food growers we go down here and there's this there's this one a food grower d1 just as food grower and then we have the food grower d2 tier 2 uh, this one comes first it requires an aluminum an iron and a water bottle and that can make us a food grower you want to get this as quickly as possible because uh, like I said before these food space food packets are limited they're very extremely limited you don't get a whole lot of them so you're gonna to have to start growing your own food so how do you grow your own food well you make a food grower so what we'll do is we'll, we'll I'll put one down here I'll go the regular food grower which is the lower one um, you get a little arrow which points towards you and this has to be put inside you can't put it outside so we're just gonna put one down here just for now and it feels like that then it takes a little bit of power minus 15 kilowatts per second per second like okay I guess so anyway of, of power now what can we put inside the food grower now the, in all the crates and everything else that you go around you search through all the wreckages you would get to find some seeds and these are the seeds you get an eggplant seed a squash seed a beans seed and a mushroom seed those grow the food the other seeds are flower seeds and tree seeds you can't put those in the food grower they don't grow the food but these do uh, bean seeds are the best ones uh, eggplant squash and mushrooms they're a little bit lower but how about what we do is first of all I'm going to maybe build um, a few more of these food growers T, the, the T ones the lower ones so I'm going to put this here put them all close together as possible like so and then I'm going to put another one down like so and I'm just gonna swing around this way a little bit and I'm gonna put, put down a fourth one right here, just like so so then we have four tier one food growers so they would grow the food inside these food growers now what we could do is we put one squash plant in this one as you can see just left click on and it goes in there and the squash plant sits there and it grows now it starts at 30 percent growth and you will get your seed back so you don't have to keep searching for seeds the seed is reusable so we'll put a squash one in there we'll put a take plant there squash in this one and we'll put a bean in this one and what we're going to do is we'll put a mushroom in this one okay so these grow back and you get your seed back and it grows slow this is the growth speed is 0.6 so they grow pretty slow but um, usually by the time that your health bar goes down and you can't uh, use uh, well, you have to eat some food these can grow so by the time th these grow you can use the health you can use the food to eat and then by the time your health bar dwindles down you, uh, these seeds would grow so it's best to have a multiple now, as as you can also tell here 
the, like I said, the seed one or the, the bean one is the best. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is we have our food growers tier one. Uh, I'm going to pluck down a food grower tier two. Now I'm just going to put this right here for now. There's no real reason why I'm doing it here, but just put it down here just to show everybody what they look like. Right here for now. So these are tier two. So tier one, you can tell because they're kind of like white, the white base here, and the growth speed is 0.6. Here, these are kind of like an orangey reddish base. This is 1.1 growth. So it grow, this, these ones grow a little quicker, and they do take a little bit more power, but they grow quicker. And with these ones, the same thing. We put our food inside here. Each one of these. So we have four different types of seeds, so I usually have four food growers. Now these can all be used for food and you can eat them all. But also is that uh, the mushrooms, the squash, and the eggplant, they're grown to make other items in the game. So we'll be doing a video about that a little later on, as well as the bean seed, or the beans, they can make a big, even higher level food. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so those are the tier one food grower and the tier two food grower. Now, while these grow, and we'll come back and see them when they're all fully grown, is also you can grow is a outdoor farm. So what we can do with the outdoor farm is Basically, it is a farm that you have outdoors, which is pretty self-explanatory, really. <laughs> so that's what the outdoor farm does. Okay, so let me show you the farm. <clears throat> the farm can be actually can be placed inside, but it's usually not a very good idea to place it inside because you have the buildings on the inside. What you can do is you can place the farm. I've already put one out here. And this is what the outdoor farm looks like. Now this is growing and you can put it directly onto the ground. So you can build these things on the ground. Now I have this already built. I'll show that a little later. But this is directly onto the ground. You can also build them on top of these foundation grids as well. And you can grow, grow those on foundation grids. Oh, I'm going to need some water. Let's run all the way. I'm just going to go over to the, to the lake here and drink some water. Excellent. Okay. And also, I'm going to show you something else that's up here. If we go all the way up to the roof, I'm on the top of the very top of our building here. And you can actually grow this on top of a building too so if you want to save some space you could put your your farms up on top of a building as well all right so let's go back all the way down to the to the ground okay so oh. so what i'm going to do is i have some supplies in here that i'm just going to put on and see. oh we're getting a big major event here i think Okay, what I'm going to do is pause it until this, uh, this goes away. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Not quite sure what happened there with the... We had a major event happening. But anyway, okay, so we're going to go outside. We're going to... Oh, uh, what I'm going to, just going to do is I got, I got all the materials. Just again. So I'm going to build myself a farm so like I said be built on these things but this is easy to do because what happens is if you build a farm and it places quite nicely on top of on these things like almost like nice and square but when you put it on the ground it kind of goes around a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right here uh, if you want to rotate it again shift control do this spin the wheel on your mouse, it'll rotate it around. 
to whichever, whichever which way you want to put it, or you could just spin it normally like that uh, without push, clicking control, and then you just place it down like that. So what you do is if you either one of these little bulbs. This is the bees, and it has like a water thing. But you click on this, and you can place in, just like with the food growers, you put in the food, and it will grow. Now, it does take a little while for it for it to grow, but as you can see, you get multiple plants. This one has like for the beans one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine, nine plants, or nine beans you can grow in that one. And then this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay, so you can grow many. The farms are better because you can grow many, many of the, the the food, the beans, whatever. Okay, um, and then we can come in through here. So you notice here, this is still growing. This is at seventy-four percent growth, and so that's a little, that's the tier two, which is quicker. And this one's at. 62% growth, so you see it's a little slower. This is 63, and this is at 70, 75. Remember, we put these ones down first, these these four down first, and it's only at 60, 63, 62, 62, 62, and then we put these ones down, and this is already 77, 78, 77, 77, 77, and then these ones grow, these ones grow, okay? And so what we'll do is we're going to just pause it here for a second until these ones uh, are all fully grown. And then I uh, can show you how to harvest our food. Okay, we're back. Time has lapsed a little bit. Now what we're going to do, show you here, is the Tier 2 has grown to 100%. 100% growth. You see that? 100% growth down here. And we did those second. And here's the tier ones, they're 82%. So they're still growing. So the tier twos are much better than the tier ones because they're quicker and they get you the food quicker. And so these ones are not finished, but these ones are all finished. <clears throat> so what you do is you take your little square thingy right in the middle of the screen. That's your kind of your your, your arrow or your, your, your crosshairs, whatever you want to call it. You go right on top of the food here. Okay, you can see that it shows up and you just left click on it and you'll see that the seed goes back in. Okay, again, you go to this for squash, seed goes back in, the bean and the mushroom. The seeds go back in and you harvested the food and they have gone back in. Okay, so that's how those ones work. Now we go into our inventory, we can see we have our beans here. So we have the the, the eggplant is 25 health, so it's only a quarter of your health bar. Squash is 40, a little bit better. Bean is 60, which, like I said, it's the best one. And then we have mushroom, which is 35. So, eggplant is the worst, mushroom is next, squash is next, and then bean. I mentioned before, eggplant, squash, Mushrooms, they use to make other items into the game. You can use them as food if you wish, but they don't really uh, work very well as far as the food goes. Um, okay, so those are the basics of for the food. There's one other thing, one other item that we can use for the food, and that is to making honey. And so what we'll do is show you how to make the honey. Um, right now okay so in order to make honey you would need to have a beehive so we can get the beehive this is a beehive again tier one there's also a beehive tier two uh, the beehive tier one only has one slot where you can make only one honey uh, this one the beehive i think five slots i believe i'm not quite sure uh, well, we'll find out, um, and it could also make bee larva as well as honey. So, uh, the beehive can only be made outside. You can't make the beehive inside. You can only make uh, build them outside. So first, we're going to do the regular beehive. 
And as you can see, it cannot be put on these things. You can't be can't put on the foundation. It's got to go on to the ground. Can't be put on top of that directly onto the ground. So we'll just put a beehive here. And this one produces, as you can see here, produces honey. You get honey. And it only makes one honey at a time. Okay. Then we also have the beehive tier two, which is this one right here. And then we can put this one down. Now this one, has, okay, four. It has four slots, but it can make both honey and you can get a bee larva as well. And this, so you can make the honey, which is also another food source. This one's much lower. I mean, we saw that the mushroom is 35, the eggplant 25. This is, I think, 20. It's, it's, it's very, it's also very, very low. Okay, so what we can do is uh, those will just take about a minute in order for us to get the get the, the, the honey. And as you notice, there's bees flying all over the place now. And so this is this is really this is really nice when you put the beehive inside for a whole bunch of flowers, and then you can pollinate the flowers. It doesn't actually do that, but you can. So we can come in here, and as you can see, all our food growers here are now at a hundred percent. So. We click on this, 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 and this, and the seeds all get put back in there, and it'll start to regrow again. And these ones are automatically growing, so you can have continuous growing. You just take the food, then come back later on, and it'll, it'll grow automatically. So then, what we have is you see our food's about almost about half down, so you can just bring up your um, tab button or think your inventory and you have the food here and so you see 25 40 35 so if I just say if I left left click on to the eggplant so it says right click to consume right click right click so you right click on it I eat the eggplant you see how it only came up just a teeny tiny little bit okay but uh, let's see, what I'm going to do is I'm, also, ooh, I'm still hungry. Mm, I'm going to have a nice, delicious mushroom. I love mushrooms. And again, now we're all full up again with our with our food bar because we had to eat two of those, whereas this is 60. We can eat a lot. Uh, now, what's also interesting, um, while we wait for our honey, hopefully our honey is ready and it is grown. Or not grown, but collected. Okay. Nope, still, still nothing yet. Let's see how much, how's our big one doing. Oh, you, oh, you see, we got one bee larva already. Got a bee larva, which is good, but we need some honey. But what I want to do is I want to show how we can make another food source. We can get the, uh, the uh, what is it called? I think it's super food or something like that. The, the, the astro food, which we had before. I should let me go collecting. There it is right here. The space food. And then this we can collect in all the wrecks, the crates, the boxes, all throughout the map. But there, it's a limited amount. And then once they're all gone, they're gone. You can't make them anymore. You can't, unless you happen to find another crate. But you can't make them anymore. But we can make another food, which gives us 100%. Like the water, the water bottles, they give us 100 water. Uh, this other super space food will give us 100 food health. Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. We got the honey. Honey, 10. Okay, we'll just take this honey. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, the only place where you can make this super space food is inside of a lab that you have. I don't have the lab here, but what we'll do is we'll go over to the main base and I will then make the food inside the lab. And so under the power of editing, we'll go right there in just a second. All right, now here we are inside my lab. Welcome to my lab. And the lab is here, is where we can make all sorts of things. We'll talk about the lab later. But we can make many other, many things here. But what we're looking at here is the high quality food. Now, high quality food, as you can see, requires one honey and one bean. One honey and one bean. So, so I have one honey and one bean. That's 
inside my inventory already. So if I just left click on that, ooh, I make myself a high quality food. Now this gives us 90 health, which is almost 100% health. The health bar is 100, this gives us 90. So this, as, as of right now in the game, is the best. But you do have to make it, you need one honey and one bean to make it. Otherwise, I just grow a whole bunch of beans and eat those as I go along. Okay, so that is all of the food in the game as it is right now and how to make them. Uh, there is one way of making making food too here like this. Instead of going to the bio lab is we can use the um, continuous continuous maker. I forget what, it's, what the thing's called. Yeah, the auto crafter. We can use the auto crafter, but we'll do the auto crafter uh, in another episode. So that brings us to the end about growing food, growing our own food here on Planet Crafter. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Uh, think about hitting subscribe. It will help the channel out a lot. Smash the notification bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.